what's up y'all so today i'm just gonna be doing a quick little tour of my nail room because i don't want to do it but um first i just wanted to insert some clips of what it looked like before this is from like two years ago before i painted it and got like actual nail room furniture and stuff like that so yeah i just wanted y'all to see how far it's come because oh it used to be ugly so yeah here that is Okay, so, um, I just want to show, like, my little doors in my nail room. I did these, like, last year, maybe the year before. I mean, I don't even know. Time just be moving. But, yeah, this one, I'm going to insert a clip, a clip of what this room used to look like. Because it used to be tragic. But, anyway, I'm going to start on this wall right here. There I go. Looking a mess. But yeah, this is just my little cute decor. As you can see, I chose black and white for my theme. Um, I got all that, that, and that from Hobby Lobby. Um, I actually made that myself, that E with a poster board. And you see where the little white stickers are? That babe cave sign used to be up there, but it keeps falling. So I'm probably gonna put it over nails. Yeah. Um, right here, I just have a little mirror, you know, I just guess my clients wanna, it's really for me though, my clients don't be using it, <laughs> but yeah, I just got a little mirror in here, uh, just my license, I'm gonna show it real fast, um, and then right here, to the left of where my client would be sitting, I have my little jewelry, accessory table, I just got a few rings and things, some shades, actually my sister shades that she's selling you know nothing major just a little jewelry if my clients want to stop and look i have some for them mostly rings because i love rings and like you getting your nails done so i know when i be getting a fresh day i'll be like i need some rings so just got some rings some necklaces it's looking a little skimpy right now because people have been buying stuff but that's a good thing and you know a little bracelet this is actually my old nail table this is what i used to do nails on before i got this table and it's a story behind this table let me tell y'all so this table right here um i got off of amazon right and if i can still find a picture i'm gonna insert a picture of what the table was supposed to look like it looked like this, but it was supposed to come with a built-in charger station. And I really wanted that for my clients. And so I could plug in my ring light, you know, so they could charge their phone, whatever the case may be. But they ended up sending me a normal table. And I was so mad because, like, the day the table came in, I had, like, three appointments. And I really wanted to get the table up and going before my appointments. But as I was putting it together, I was like, where is the charging station and then i realized i didn't have it i emailed them i was gonna return it but it would have cost more for me to return it than the actual table was so i just ended up keeping it i don't even know if they charged me or not because it was on my credit card so whatever i ain't tripping but yeah this is my new table you know this is the table my client see sorry i was doing my nails earlier but yeah um it's not set up for a client right now because i've been cleaning but yeah, this is just like a little phone stand I got from this place called Bargain Brothers. It was really cheap. All this stuff is really cheap. Um, it's just my top coat, cuticle oil, little alcohol bottle. This is when I record my nail sets, this is what I use. I got this off of Amazon too. You know, it's just kind of make it come out and turn it how you need it. And then it's over your hands. I need a new ring light because mine went out. Um, on this side, I just have my nail brush and i can list these products if y'all want me to but this video is not really about that <laughs> i'm just trying to show you my room yeah i got my brush you know my little essential items for my sets uh that's my chair that my clients sit in i'm gonna eventually i'm gonna get a new chair because i need a gaming chair and i'm gonna do my nails in that and I'm gonna let my clients have the chair that I'm in. I'll show y'all that in a second. These are just extra top coats. Um, these are my business cards. These are some new ones I just got. Oof. Oh. Nail tech. Yep. These my business cards. Um, this is what I keep like 
all my stuff in that I need for each set. So like my glue, I use this little bowl to put like the tips that I cut off. Basically for trash that I have during my sets. This is the phone stand that I use for myself if I need it. But most of the time I'm just listening to music. So I don't really need that. But yeah, like all my files. My I have a heart hole puncher for my loyalty cards. Brush, you know. If you do the else, you know. Um, and then like these are the two tips I use the most. Um, I'm actually going to put where I got these tips from and what they are. So these are my favorite, 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 favorite nail tips. So these are my coffin tips that I use. This hand not done, so don't roast me. Um, these are really nice. These are my coffin tips. They kind of curved from Amazon. And then, now these babies, right here. I've lately of people wanting like extra long nail tips with no C curve, cause I know that's what I wanted. That's these right here, extra long, no C curve. Um, I cut them down quite a bit, just because I didn't want my regular nails super long. But yeah, they're so nice. I love them very much. But yeah, no C curve. That's what they look like. Let me use the same. No C curve. You see how they're like flat? Yes, perfect. And I know a lot of like nail takes and stuff. I've been seeing a lot of nail takes on TikTok and Instagram that so. But most of the time, they used to be from like the UK or you gotta pay like $10 for shipping. I got these on Amazon for $17. And I'm gonna put them on there. No shade, but it's like, bro. Anyway. <laughs> okay, this is where I keep my nail lamp. Uh, my friend actually bought me this. I need to get a new one. It's got a crack in it and it's dirty. Uh, that's some extra cuticle oil and two lotions because my clients are complaining about being ashy. Um, on this little level, I guess I can show y'all. Like, it has like three levels on each side. On this, well, I'm going to do this side. This is where I keep all my drill bits, but I have the rest of them in some barbicide right now. Um, this is my drill. Got this off of Amazon too for like $60. It's wireless. Has a clip on the back. It's really nice. Um, this is where I keep like my nail art stuff. These are all my brushes. I have Beatles nail art brushes. I got all these off of Amazon as well. I'm not gonna list where I get this stuff from unless somebody specifically asks for it because it's, it's just a lot of stuff to be listing. Um, but yeah, all my nail art brushes, I have a rhinestone picker in here. You know, you know, little nail art brushes. I use this old container of um, acrylic to put like my gel polish, ooh, to put my gel polishes on top of. And I, uh, um, And then beside it, I have my rhinestones that I use the most often. You know, I keep my glue in there. Put it, obviously, this is the rhinestone glue I use. It hasn't steered me wrong yet. I started using this because of Ta Barbie. I think that's how you say her name, or Ta Barbie Nails. I'm gonna put her page, I mean, her, yeah, her page in here. But yeah, this is the rhinestones I use the most often. I keep them. Right beside me, you know, so I ain't gotta go digging in my little cart over there. I'm gonna show y'all my cart next, actually. Underneath that, that's my little armrest for my planks. I just got it right there for now because I was cleaning up. But yeah, it's my little armrest for my planks. I got this off of Amazon too. And then my hand sanitizer I use for every appointment. Um, and yeah, that's all I have on my table. Here I just have my purple towels. That's a desk collector. This is like a little desk organizer thing. If I have a drink, I just put it right there. Sometimes like if I'm using gel polishes, I'll put it right there or under here. Whatever, I have my mini fridge. I'm not gonna open it because I got a lot of drinks in there. I ain't got no alcohol in it, but I just got like 50 water bottles. So I don't want y'all to be like, oh Lord. But um, that's my dirty towels basket. This is my room, just got that in the corner. I got my TV here, obviously. My little light up tree, I got from my mama. My mama got me that too. Up top, I have a sign that says email and beauty, a little E, it lights up, but I ain't paying no because it's way up there. 
And then I just have like extra BS in there, which is why it's up there, because I don't need the outfit. And then I have my little organizer thing. I actually bought this for my, did I buy this? No, I would say I bought this for my apartment, but no, I didn't. I bought it to go back here. But um, in this top drawer, I just keep like, my old ring light that don't work is in there. And I have like extra cords, chargers and stuff in there. Uh, in that drawer, I just have like stuff to, if I was to ever do a sock off, I don't do sock offs anymore because I hate doing sock offs. But um, I have that stuff in there. Um, Kleenex, obviously. This is like all my chemical -y stuff. So I got my acetone, my monomer, my barbicide, my, I forgot what this, caddy, caddy side. I got that from cosmetology school. Um, I just used to clean up every now and then, but most of the time I just use Lysol wipes. That's my little, um, what that thing called? Implement cleaner thingy. That's, I keep my books, my iPad, my laptop usually be under there, but it's in my backpack. Um, that is all my press-on materials. Uh, yeah, the stuff you need to make press-ons, like the actual press-ons, the little thing that you put the press-ons on, all that. And there I have all my bags, so like my little bag that I used to put my press-ons in or if my clients buy jewelry, I have my bags in there to put their jewelry in. Um, that's just like cleaning supplies, Lysol wipes, those are cleaning wipes too, Lysol spray. Behind that, it's like some bug spray, cause like in the summertime, I be cracking my windows and them flies be out of pocket. So I got some fly killer spray in there. And in this drawer is my towels. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this little section. Um, this is my cords. I need to figure out something better to do with them, but that's how they use for now. They look better than they used to. I used to have it up here, but it kept falling, so I just let it stay on the floor. Um, I recently bought this from Hobby Lobby, of course. It's just like a little to-do list thing I have for myself. I didn't draw those roses on here, by the way. Yeah, I just have all my crap on there that I need to get because I be running out of stuff like crazy. But it's fine. At least that means I'm getting business, right? I just have window, you know, look hurt in. You know? And then over here, this is the cart that I spoke of earlier. I have some markers and I use these for like, um, you know, which you use markers for, obviously. But I also use them for like um, marble. It's like a certain type of marble. Like when people want it, I'll probably insert a picture. But when people want that kind of marble, that's what I use these for. So basically for nail art. Um, these are just like pins, you know. So I got my notebooks and stuff. My little chalk markers for my board up there. This is all the gel polish. Most of the gel polish I own. Um, I used to keep my black ones and my white ones like at my desk because you know you need those more often than all these other colors. I need to do my swatches but like honestly most of these look the same and most of them are Beatles gel polish. I'm going to be completely honest I do not like Beatles gel polish. I use it because it's cheap but I've started to move on to like this. I really like this gel polish. It's super nice. Um... I bought this just because my client wanted purple one day and I didn't have purple. So I just went to Sally's and bought it. But I like it. But yeah. I'm not going to tell you not to use Beatles gel polish. But I do not like Beatles gel polish. Um, I could do without it. Very much so. I also have some Model 1's gel polish. I really like this Model 1's gel polish. Um, it's just, it has a really good consistency. And the thing I don't like about Beatles gel polish is that you have to like it's so thin it's like watery you have to put like 50 layers of it to even get a good payout like there are a few of them that are really nice like this orange i use that's beetles gel polish and it's cool but it's like it just takes a lot y'all like i feel like you never know what you're gonna get when you use beetles gel polish but some of them are really pretty but it's just like i would prefer to use the you know D and D or my own shell polish. Um, this is my litcher. Okay, now I'm gonna open up this car, Lord Jesus. Um, I try to keep this thing organized to the best of my ability, but you know, stuff just get how we get, and that's how it be. So, 
in this top drawer, I have my file. My file. Oh, I ain't gonna pull it out, but I have two different, I have three different things to file. These are 80 by 100, these are 100 by 180, and these are just 80 by 80. I never use these 80 by 80s. Just because they're way too rough. Um, I keep my buffers in here too. And my glues. I use KDS nail glue and KDS nail glue only. I got some C-curve nail tips, but it's only like three tips in here. So, yeah. A uh, couple loose nail swatches. Some more nail tips on this side. Just extra nail tips. And my sanding bands. Why are they falling out like that? Some sanding bands. You know. That's it for that drawer. This drawer, this is my acrylic drawer. Yes, it looks a mess because it is. Um, every time I try to organize it, it just never stays. But I only use like, I don't want to say I only use like the same five acrylics, but I only use like the same five acrylics. So every now and then, I get somebody that come in and wants some like off the wall. Or if I do a freestyle, you know, I get to use like some of my colors stuff but as you can see i have a lot of these little bitty mia secrets because when i first started like doing nails practicing nails i ordered so many of these um little bitty mia secret acrylics but i love mia secret acrylic for real um my favorite all-time favorite acrylic ain't nobody messing with this acrylic is awesome. my favorite i can't find it Angel Face by iGel Beauty. Angel Face by iGel Beauty. This is the most perfect nude I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, anytime I do somebody's nails and I use this acrylic, they just be like, um, I think I just want to keep it like this. Like, I don't want to do the design. I don't want to add anything. And I'd be like, bro, like, I understand. I understand. Like, you want to keep it like that because it's pretty but like i want to do this design because everybody can't just be getting plain new nails which i mean you can but like i just i get tired of doing plain new nails sometimes but yeah that's my acrylic drawer i have so many acrylics it's crazy this is my glitter drawer um it's my favorite drawer uh well no it's not my favorite drawer my rhinestone drawer is actually my favorite um i use this to like catch my glitter like if i'm sprinkling glitter over somebody's nail, you know, I want to just put this underneath it. Catch the glitter. Got my gold flakes here. All these glitters, all these glitters came from Walmart. Or 90% of them. This came from Hobby Lobby, but I don't ever use it. Um, this came from Target. It's just like some stars. I'm just showing y'all random stuff at this point. Um, but yeah, 90% of these came from Walmart. The ones that come in like these, I get from Hobby Lobby usually use these around like valentine's day i need to get some more hearts though but yeah, that's my glitter drawer this is my rhinestone drawer i knew i was missing a glitter this is my i've been using this one a lot this season it's pretty i got this from hobby lobby too so I'm put it in this correct drawer this is my rhinestone and like nail art sticker or everything is just kind of thrown in here as you can see. I didn't realize how many little things I have, but yeah. I have a few of those. Got some flames. I used these the other day. They're so pretty. Um, some dragons. I be like, I be admiring the people that nail drawers and stuff just be so organized because when I tell you like, my stuff just be thrown in here. And it's like, it don't look bad, but it's just not, like, super uniform. Um, these are, like, all my loose rhinestones. I don't even know where I got these from, but I got them. Um, I have some leaf. Little nail art. These are all my chrome powders. You can't see them, but, yeah, these are chrome powders. I got some flowers. This is another chrome powder. Um, got my red rhinestones. If you blue, and I got some blue rhinestones. If you cool in. Um, you know, I don't discriminate. Um, what's these? Oh, these are some press-ons. I'm gonna add these. Are my throw-on press-ons. If I'm going out somewhere, 
I'll be like, let me get my press on. Cool. Yeah, I got some more rhinestone pickers in here. This little background is what I use to put in my press on thingies. Um, this is just some more little nail art. You really felt like just, just nail art, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's the it for the drawer. I got some letters too. This is my junk drawer. Um, I just bought these glitters from Walmart the other day. But I only needed like two out of here, which is why it's in here. I got another pink glitter. This needs to go back in my glitter drawer. This is my favorite pink glitter that I have. It's so pretty. Yeah. Um, I got my rings because I have, do have some nail piercings. So that's what these are. I just got a nail piercing tool because one of my clients wanted some piercings. And it was super cute. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is a junk drawer. I got an extra brush, some extra top coat, another glitter catcher container. That's where I keep my nail swatches that I need to finish. Yeah. And the bottom drawer is also a junk drawer. Um, I got like three things of nail tips that I don't even use no more. Um, this is why you. This is the acrylic I use when I'm like practicing. I've been looking for this actually. I need this. But yeah, I got these little containers if I ever want to mix up some glitters or coots, whatever. I got a little head lamp in there that I don't use. I got some tape. I put this tape around my nail brush because I be needing some grip. Um, and just a bunch of mess, like some of my practice nail. You know, this my some of my drill bits came out of there. Some of my drill bits came out of here. Yeah, that's pretty much it for my nail room tour.